can breathe again, I can see again, I can feel how it feels to be free again, I can dream again, I believe again, I see angels looking down in astonishment, and my heart is beating, I'm still breathing, my body is freezing, you stop the bleeding, you bring me to life.
How's it, guys? Burning Radio from Nat TV. I hope you guys are having a fantastic evening tonight. I'm going to be covering Dobrian Gaming vs. No Mercy in the ESL Polish uh, Season 8 uh, Pro Series match. Uh, I'm just waiting now for the information to come through so that we can join in and actually um, get cracking on the match. So, quite an interesting game this, afternoon, well, this evening. Uh, for some of you guys, it will be afternoon, of course. Um, but... Um, yeah, I think uh, a lot of people are anticipating, I think, uh, Dovian Gaming to take this one. However, I've got my doubts. Uh, I have been follow following the teams here and there as best as possible uh, from a South African point of view. And um, yeah, so things are looking pretty interesting um, with regards to uh, with regards to these two teams in actual fact. I'm just... Uh, having a look here the information sent uh, through to me join through just waiting just to there we go okay so the map of choice this evening is going to be de train um an interesting one that be uh well i think the last night's uh, gmac finals the last ma the last map in actual fact there was uh, was de train and um quite an interesting game between nip and um navi in actual fact, I think Navi, you know, losing to Flipside there in the group stages and then coming through all the way through into the grand final, uh, taking on NIP, unfortunately not just, you know, not strong enough to, to take it on the end of the day, but um, very well played on the other hand to NIP there all the way through, going right through and um, getting the relevant um, the, the relevant victory of, of the DreamHack Summer. So now we're just waiting for the players to pitch up and uh, once they're in on the server we will get uh, cracking with the, the cast. I think it's uh, going to be quite an exciting game here uh, between these two Polish sides. A lot of people are putting their money on um, on No Mercy. Let me just let me just quickly just look uh, look at the performance here. Very interesting in actual fact here from W Gaming. Um, just looking at their relevant games that, that they did play. It seems that uh, they did uh, they did play No Mercy in the in the past where they actually won 2-0 against um, the other Polish side. There, No Mercy is what I've indicated. Um, though it is going to be quite an interesting one, I do believe. We I, I would like to see No Mercy basically just you know come to the party and actually give Dobrian Gaming a, uh, a run for their money. But uh, yeah, we'll wait. For, we'll wait and see once the once the players are online, and we'll get cracking. And uh, that should happen in the next uh, few minutes.
Right guys, so we're just waiting for one of the um, No Mercy players to pitch up. Uh, my name is Burning Red and I will be casting from the NAV TV channel this evening. It is the ESL Polish uh, Pro Series Season 8 match uh, between Dobrian Gaming and No Mercy. So quickly looking at the statistics here, I do however see an interesting uh, fact here that uh, Dobrian Gaming has won pretty much uh, 5 out of their 5 uh, matches. Uh, well, latest matches uh, in, the ESL, um, in the ESL Pro Series. Whereas, uh, looking at No Mercy at the moment, they lost a, they lost against uh, Alsen 16-9, uh, and then Virtus Pro 16-6, and then, of course, Dobrian Gaming, that first indicated match there, 2-0. Two, two well, they lost 2-0 in actual fact. Dobrian Gaming taking on um, No Mercy there, and uh, coming through on top. So now we're going to be kicking off uh, the cast in the next few seconds here. All, pretty much all the members are relevant. So we'll just wait uh, and see when we get going now in the next few minutes. So it looks like uh, we're ready to kick this game off here between these two uh, teams here. No Mercy, uh, sponsored by Hypex, and then Dobry and Gaming. Now, Dobry, and Gabry, uh, Dobry and Gaming are favorites to take this one. They are starting off as uh, the CTs here. 
And just waiting enough for the match restart to take place, uh, which is underway. This is going to be quite an interesting one. Uh, no Mercy has got a lot, a lot to play for in this particular game, um, as they did go down 2-0 in the last encounter against Dobian Gaming. So let's see how this uh, runs out. It looks like there is going to be a knife round in the mid between these two for sides, as far as I am aware. So we'll see who takes first blood here between the two. We'll get this match on underway. So it looks like No Mercy drawing first blood here. So good start for them on the knife round. And this is an also important round. Whoever gets the win here statistically gets the better side and then well psychologically has the gain over their opponent just looking at it now at the moment it is a pretty much one down for Dobrian gaming at the moment we're seeing a comeback here nice play there from Mitch as he takes out Eon and there we go Dobrian gaming well it's quite an exchange it's a two on two at the moment Dobrian gaming with another knife it's a one on two situation let's see if Re Reese, Reese B Manages to take one but doesn't get Michu. And uh, Dobrin Gaming will then obviously pick the side here. And I think uh, they might just stick with the CTs. Yeah, no, that's the stay call there from the captain. And uh, we are ready to rock now between these two Polish teams. It's going to be quite an interesting one. Just looking at it now, some really good players on either side. So the lineup this evening for the Dobrin Gaming side is. Uh, Anaka Noise. Anacon dies, I think. <laughs> Mouse for a, uh, Amazed, Innocent, Michu. And then from the No Mercy side, we've got Eon, Resby, Kubik, Tisek, and Repo. And, um, well, an interesting start, start off here from the Dobry Gaming. Playing three on the inside, straight off the bat. Nice start there from No Mercy. Kubik getting the first pick, and then a great response from Innocent. Taking out Kubik here now at the moment, so it's a 4 1 4 situation. Bomb is destined to go on the inside here now. So we're seeing uh, the T side now moving into the outside bomb side. It's important for them. Nice response from Mitch as he takes down T sec, gets himself a double kill on Eon. Uh, at the moment it's a 4-1-2 so a very favorable position nice playing from Mitchu here with the trip kill uh, repo is the last one left for no mercy team he manages to take down Mitchu though gets taken out there by the c 75 and 1-0 to the Dobry gaming team so good start here for them as the cts we should see an interesting buy around now an effect for them we've seen Mitchu buying up the m4 after taking three kills and um Anacon, I'm just going to call him Anacon for short, with the shotgun Nova. That's a good uh, income r gun there for that particular player. Two for my purchases, a Pro 90, and then an interesting P250C Z75 purchase here. You see Innocent locking them down on the a little ladder at the side area. Miles as well, things very well there, getting himself a double kill. And, uh, well, isolating the terrorist side now. It's only 2-2-0 two, two, at the starting point. Uh, I think another eco round is in effect here. No bomb plant in the last two rounds. So a good start here for Dobrian Gaming at the moment. They want to finish this round off pretty quickly and uh, keep their position quite high up there in the Polish uh, ESL series. Now we're seeing a little bit, we're still seeing the same uh, purchase round here from the uh, Dobbin Gaming side. Two for Musses, an M4, a Pro 90, and then that Nova. Yeah, we're seeing the Nova in, in effect here. Minimize getting the, the shot off on Resby. Some spam shots through that uh, alley side area there. Nice play here from Innocent and Mitch, who locking down the T side, uh, pushed there on the alley side. And the score is now 3-0. We're going to see the, the buy round in effect now for No Mercy. Uh, we're seeing the AWP purchase from T-Sec there. He's going to have to make it work in order for him another. Well, Amazed also buying the AWP for his side. But he's actually given it on to Anacon. Minimize. Yeah, I think it's Minimize. Sorry. Nice play there from Minimize. Getting the, the shot off on Kubik. And uh, now the score is pretty much favorable here for Dobby Gaming. Just taking out the picks very quickly. The T side not really making much of it. Seeing Repo though, taking a pick there for No Mercy. But I think it's a little too late. As Mitchell takes down his opponent. 
Reaper over here. He's the last one left on the seaside. He's going to have to try and get this bomb down just to aid with regards to finances. But looking at it now, it is going to be difficult. We might see a snowball come into effect here as uh, Maze takes him out. And that's a 4-0 lead now for the W Gaming team. Looking very stable at this moment. We're still seeing the AWP in the hands of uh, Minimize. Or Minize. I do apologize for trying to pronounce their nicknames but um, some very interesting play here from the Dobrian gaming team we're seeing a lot more CZ75s being purchased now by the No Mercy team a little ladder push now needs to work for them at the moment not working so well some good auto sniper play here from uh, Amazed takes him out there and I think that's no it's not the ace but he did get the quad kill there to make it 5-0. to zero. So another buy round effect into play here for the No Mercy team. We'll have to wait and see if they can make something work. So a quick look at the overview here. We're seeing three of the players move on the inside bomb side. Probably a little out of push here. One on the mid and then one pushing the alley side. Obviously a combination precise push here from all the players should be able to get the breach on the outside bomb site well, hopefully in actual fact oh looks like Re uh, resby getting the first pick there on innocent and um, a good position no mercy is in now at the moment they have to make it work the is doing a very good uh, orb shot there through a small little gap there on resby equalizing it out the trade-off now it's a four on four between these two quickly looking at the overview where they situated they're situated on the inside ladder side area here and they're obviously going to be pushing around the top side smoking it off here maybe smoking off the connector as well trying to get that bomb down as quick as possible this really is something that they need to focus on doing that bomb plant is essential here for the no mercy team and looking at it at the moment dobry and gaming are just really settled in uh, with their guns we're seeing also maze playing with the auto sniper the scar which is a very effective gun here we go we, well in this case we're seeing a lower ramp breach in this case maze taking first pick on repo there he needs to be careful for the awp but he manages to take two he's really doing the damage here for the dobrian game inside gets himself a third kill here nice play here from amazed from dobrian gaming uh, now Manai's with the AWP and we've got uh, T-Sec left quickly focusing on T-Sec now he's moved on the inside he's rather going to keep that gun and uh, as he knows his team's not really doing very well in the finance department at the moment they are sitting around the 4,000 4,000 mark which is not too bad the buy round can be in effect no bomb plant unfortunately so if they lose this round we might just see them go back into an eco um, Dobrian Gaming of course looking very very good with uh, their finances at the moment so I'm not going to talk much about that but let's quickly look at the strat that the No Mercy side is going to pick off here we're seeing an AWP shot there miss shot there from T-Sec unfortunately and we're seeing a bit of an alley push now Kubik getting the kill on Mitchu there Manai is doing also very well and then Maus as well taking out the AWPA. Leon is left gets taken out there by Innocent and Dobby and Gaming just really all over the No Mercy team at the moment. No Mercy just can't really find the traction and the cohesion to try and uh, execute the strats maybe it's just a bit of aim that's uh, against them at the moment it does seem so as Manaz gets the last pick against Kubik there and the score now 7 to 0 Sorry, I, I didn't actually even notice the x-ray is actually off, but uh, there we go, the x-ray now on. Uh, some people prefer it, some people don't, but anyway, let's get back to the game. Yeah, score now 7-0 to the Dobby side. Another eco round in the effect here, but nice in the uh, breach now. They need to try and get that bomb down. Failing to do so at the moment as a maze playing very well with the auto sniper. We're seeing the rest of the Dobby game team moving in slowly but surely. And uh, isolating off uh, the rest of the T side here. No bomb plant as of yet. Reaper going down there to Mitchu. Mitchu very effective with the M4. And, um, well, probably not the best uh, round here for No Mercy. Unfortunately, dropping that bomb right there in front of the bomb site. Last person left here. He's got an auto sniper in hand, uh, Resby. He needs to be careful. Oh, man, manages to get the pick, yeah. 
He's going to have to really pull something together to take the picks, the necessary picks. Not going to happen as Mystery takes him out. And, uh, well, that's 8-2-0 now for the Dobrin Gaming side. Just really, really effective as the CT side at the moment. Looking very, very strong. So we're seeing another, uh, sorry, another buy round in effect here. We're seeing T-Sec playing with the AWP once more. He's not really getting the kills. Let's have a look at the quick uh, score sheet here. Hmm, none of them are really shining out. 0 for 7. T-Sec with the AWP not working at all. And, uh, a little bit of a problem. Oh, there's his first kill of the match. He gets and now we're seeing an outside breach and nice play from Rez V finally taking down two so it is a two on four situation favorable to the T side they have got the numbers here but they need to get the bomb down but we do see a little bit of the contingency of the, that bomb is going to be moving in towards the inner site uh, just looking at the current quick overview setup here Amaze D has is kind of in close proximity of that inside he has got a auto sniper so you can make it work as we have seen in the last couple of rounds here we go. This might just be quite interesting. Oh, and Tzik takes him out there. So amazed out of the picture. This is going to be the first one for No Mercy. Uh, Dobrik Gaming, unfortunately, not being able to isolate it off. Eventually, the last one left. He manages to take some guns. And I think that's his role at the moment. I'm going to go for maybe for the eco, maybe for the charge. Oh, he's just waiting for a T side player just to try and push him. Very good score here, Mitchu. 12 for 2. KPD of 6. Really just right up top there. Playing his role for the team. And the well, it's going to change a little bit now. 8-2-1. Very well played. So a lot of work in, a lot of work here for the No Mercy side. I mean, they're going to have to try and at least get to that five round mark here. If not, it's going to be difficult. I mean, we, we, we're looking at their current uh, situation. We're still seeing buyers coming in from the, the Dobrian Gaming side. They've got the finances to do the work, to defend them off. Amaze D and Ennis are not buying up as of yet. It's a very late buy, but the, ma oh, sorry, the match has been paused. I think there might be just a little bit of incident at the moment no doesn't look like it really just waiting uh, for one of the players obviously i do not speak uh, polish so i won't be able to translate for you what they are indicating so obviously something's up at the moment between these players we're just waiting now for the match to continue and uh, hopefully no mercy can bring this one back getting those five rounds it's really essential for them at the moment their, their, their money is not sitting in the worst position i would say although repo sitting on nord cash straight off he's obviously gone for the full buy um but the rest of the team you know we've got uh, kubik and res b sitting on about 5k plus that could work for them in the next uh, couple of rounds going but uh well we'll have to wait and see
So, it looks like we are back, ready to roll here. Score 8-1 now to Dobry Gaming. Things are looking a little bit dire here for No Mercy at the moment. Um, they are in the buy round, so this should work here for them. T-Sec playing with the AWP. Looking at him now, he managed to get two kills in the last round. So let's see if he can do it again with the AWP there. Gets a shot off. Not really much damage in my opinion. Bomb is going to be going towards the alley side here at the moment. Nice, gets himself a double kill. Does he get himself a triple? No, he doesn't. Resby taking him out there. And uh, a little bit of a cleanup here for Miles Foy. Oh, we're seeing uh, t in a very interesting position. Taking out Michu. There is only one left here. Dobby managing to take him out. And, uh, well, good defense there from Dobby Gaming. The score now 9-1. We're seeing a little bit of a match pause again here. There seems to be something up. I just can't uh, understand exactly with regards to the um, the language that's been spoken there. Unfortunately, I only know English and uh, the local language here in South Africa, Afrikaans. So we're just now waiting for the game to get on pause. We're just looking at it now. Doesn't look like anyone is suffering any latency issue issues. Um, it could though be a slightly bit of uh, a different DDoS there where there is loss on the line, which could be a little bit of uh, a problem. So let's hope that they can actually resolve the issue. I mean, it is something that we're all looking forward to. We want to get this game under underway. And at the moment, uh, Dobry Gaming now 9-1 against Hyper... Uh, sorry, No Mercy HyperX. No Mercy just really, at the moment, they are in a position. Not a very great one at the moment. They, we can see there is money within the camp. But not enough, in actual fact. Having to look at it, we probably will see kind of like a semi-purchase or a buy, which will, which guns will be distributed between the, the relevant party members here, because we do see Cubic and uh, T-Sec on 4 and 6,000 there. Eon also on 3,200. He could buy Galil and Armour there, but just really at the moment, maybe an eco round would be better for them as they try and reach for that five-round um, goal. If they do get the five rounds, it is going to put them in a position to defend it better. But we'll have to wait and see in the next coming uh, in the next coming moments. So I'm just going to play some music in the background uh, whilst we wait for the match to be unpaused, and hopefully, hopefully that we can get this game underway here at the moment. So just looking at it now, let's just quickly actually go through the scores here. Very very good play from Mitri. The 13 for three, just really on top form. Same with his partner, Amazed. 12 for 3. The rest of the team actually doing quite well there with the support work and uh, leaving Amazed and Mitchu right on the top there with the frags. It's obviously their preferred stage train. Um, now we're going to quickly talk about the No Mercy side here. We've seen Resby, the only one really effectively getting the kills for the team uh, in second place. Then T-Sec jumping there from 0 to 3 in the last three rounds. Not too bad for him. But um, well, we're seeing a, a bit of interesting situation a lot of guns being thrown around at the moment but still the match is paused so we're just now waiting now for them to continue and hopefully we can get this game underway a lot of people are looking forward to uh, this particular game i think there are some bets out there um on uh, the es let me just quickly double check i think there is a there is a bet in place on uh, egamingbets.com according to statistics uh it's one to two, almost one to three for Dobry Gaming here. So obviously if you're betting for No Mercy, you might uh, get a little bit more out of it if they do take this game. But just looking at it at the moment, it doesn't look like it's going to work for them. Maybe, you know, in, in this particular case, I think what they're trying to do here, just quickly looking at the overview, they are pushing quite a number of guys through the alley side area. One guy there and one guy there on the on the uh, little ladder s uh, scenario, the little ladder location, and then on the mid, I think what could effectively work, and what I've seen in a couple of South African games, etc., is the AWPA comes out, but he comes out a little bit aggressively, 
kind of taking the shot down there, eliminating the alley player straight off the bat. If he gets it right, if he does, it makes their job over here a hell of a lot easier, breaching through. But it really all depends on the player, like, you know, playing that mid-side position. I've seen it from time to time, and it actually does work quite effectively. But, um... Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Let's see if uh, the No Mercy side can actually conjure up something like that. Um, I, I believe they do. They've got the right skill set to do so. But I just think the cohesion at the moment between the members is not exactly there. Uh, Dobry and Gaming are just showing such a f such a great um, you know a, a great defence here. Uh, it, it's it's really great to watch. But just it's just a little bit. Um, this makes it a little bit uh, unfortunate, I believe, for um, for the No Mercy team at the moment. You know, not just not getting the rounds. I mean, Dobrian Gaming, all credit is due to them playing their CT fantastically. And they do deserve this score of uh, night one. I see that there is a have fun called. Uh, but we're, no unpauses as of yet. Nope, I lied. Here we go. And pause is underway. And here we go. Round 11 now. Uh, about to start between these two. We're seeing kind of a buy round now in effect here for the No Mercy team. They're going to have to make this work. Let's have a look at their um, strat now going into play. Bomb being dropped off here. We're seeing some mid play. And we're seeing some very delayed alley side play here as well. Obviously trying to maybe force a bit of a decoy. Some lower ladder play. Nice play there for... Looking very dangerous there for No Mercy, but they managed to get the exchange. It is important. So it is a 4 on 4 favorable to the T side. Why? Because the CT side is spread thin. Let's be honest here. It's going to be two per site now. F4 take on one particular site. They should be able to get the breach and the isolation off. We have to wait and see now as uh, we see them moving in towards this mid side area. Mitch are doing very well. They're taking out Repo, putting the teams at a disadvantage. What a crackdown here from Dobrian Gaming. And the score 10 1. Fantastic play from the Polish team. Well, the one Polish team. <laughs> No, Mercy, unfortunately, just not getting the cohesion now. Now they're in an eco round once more, and it is a bit of a problem here for them. They don't have the bucks in the bag. They're going to have to make this work somewhere or another. We're seeing a couple of CZ75s, maybe an inside full breach here. They are going quite hard here. We're seeing uh, Minai's coming up, taking the first orb shot there on Eon. Gets a second one. Nice play here. Oh, scopeless shot there on Risby. And then Amazed from the top side taking out two of the No Messi players. And the score now 11-1. Such a quick round there for Dobrian Gaming. Very effective play. And uh, things are looking pretty, pretty good here for them. So, effective round for the Dobrian Gaming team there. Now they're in the 11th uh, round here. And things are pretty much uh, smooth sails ahead. Sweet sailing ahead also now. Nice play from No Mercy Res B again taking the frag here for Dobby and Gaming. We're seeing Manais coming in from the little other side, taking out Repo and causing such an upset now for the No Mercy team because now they're under pressure from behind and from the front. Nice play here once again from Innocent and Michu. Oh, no scopeless there for. Manaz as T-Sec takes him out there with the AK-47. It is a two-on-three situation. They're going to have to get the aiming buttons correct. But Mitchu really taking them to pieces there. Bomb plant did, did take place there. But just it's a little unfortunate. And uh, no Mercy didn't have the backing there to try and avoid that defusal. And we will see another buy run in effect here because of the bomb uh, plant by the No Mercy team. Round 14, it is the penultimate round here between the two. And now this is up to them to try and increase this uh, score each year. We're seeing an inside pull on rush again once more. Maybe a down little ladder. It looks like it is to be the case. Nice defense up here from Innocent. He doesn't get the second, but has the backing from Mouse. Boy, with a trick kill. And uh, 13 to 1. Nicely played here by Dobrian Gaming. So it looks like this is pretty much, uh, you can't really you can't really get better than this, I, I believe, on train, you know, as CTs. I mean, 13 rounds to your name. It just really shows the class that Dobrian Gaming is playing at. I, I'm looking forward to watching uh, the Virtus Pro in Dobrian Gaming match, to be honest. That's going to be quite an interesting cracker, I believe. Uh, just looking at Dobrian Gaming, beating Wiper 
Nice coming out quite aggressively, getting himself a double pick with the AWP. And uh, problematic for No Mercy. And also Miles 4A taking out Repo there. Just No Mercy, just not really having any cohesion at the moment. Causing such problems here for themselves. Hopefully they can go back to the drawing board and uh, come back with some results in the, the, the following matches. Nice play here from Innocent. Just uh, stepping T-Sec there. And T-Sec just really not in the right position at the moment. Resby is the last player left. And he gets taken out there. So 14-1 really all the way CTs here for the Dublin Gaming team. Uh, unfortunately, No Mercy just didn't have the cohesion or any sort of skill in order to take out the Dublin Gaming team. It is going to be quite a cracking game here. Uh, between Dobbin Gaming and Virtus Pro. I am so looking forward to casting that match in actual fact. It's going to be such a close game. I, I can... Dobbin Gaming team starting off as T's in the second half here. We're seeing some in interesting tactical smoking now. A little ladder uh, contingency here moving out. And then the mid play now from Manai's probably going on the inside as well. So maybe a bit of a fake from Mitchu here with a bunch of grenades. We do see them collecting up and um, connector, which is very interesting. They're opening up that inside side. The bomb is going to make its way through. Nice play from Repo, managing to take out one. And now they're all of a sudden moving back into the, the uh, top side, the outside uh, bomb side here. But now Kubik doing very well. One remained from Mouse for a I think what uh, Dobbin Gaming should have done there is, is perhaps just move into the inside bomb site there. Because they took out the two inside defenders, I don't understand why they actually sat around trying to take out... Uh, Trying to take out the outside opponents, but a very good play here at the moment from Miles for eight. Just not good enough as Reaper takes him out, and we've got a 14-2 score now. This is a good and so much essential round here at the moment for No Mercy. They can snowball this and go ahead. Hopefully, hopefully, 14th. You know, maybe get close to that 15 round mark, 16 round mark. I, I don't think it's possible, but. Um, looking at it at the moment, Dobrian Gaming just have the superior aim compared to the No Mercy team at the moment. So No Mercy is going to have to really dig down deep in order to defend this off. We're seeing a couple of M4 purchases. The match is paused once again. So just hopefully you can get uh, this uh, issue sorted out on the server here between these uh, two teams. I'm not exactly sure who's being taken on. We'll have to wait and see. So for some of you guys that have uh, joined my uh, Twitch channel, thank you very much for uh, tuning in to the NavTV CS channel. I am Burning Red, the official caster for NavTV. I will be casting a couple of the ESL matches, ESEA, uh, and then also local South African derby games uh, featuring teams like Bravado Gaming, Energy Esports, and Damage Control. At the moment, we're waiting now for this match to be unpaused. And um, looking at it, let's just quickly have a look at the score sheet again here. 19 for 5, Mitri just really still staying on the top here. The rest of the team, in actual fact, is also just doing very well. Um, we're seeing Mouse 4 a also climbing that, uh, that ranking there with 14 for 3. Really effective score sheet there. No mercy, unfortunately. Res B, the only one that kind of is showing an indication of uh, resistance here for the CT side. But uh, Reaper doing quite well. They're managing to get the last kill there in the last round. And that pistol round, also important pistol round here for No Mercy. If No Mercy come back, if they are able to, you know, regather and recoup, like, you know, rethink about their strats, uh, their defense, etc., they could bring this uh, this game back into a nail biter kind of or down to the wire kind of position. But uh, just looking at it right now, it is Dobry and Gaming all the way.
So it looks like we are back for round 17 here between Robert Gaming and No Mercy. And uh, as we can see on the right hand side here, No Mercy now buying up. So hopefully they can make this work and take out this. The Dobrian Gaming team. Quick overview look here. We're seeing again another contingency around the little lad area. The same strat as the first round here. Spam play here from Eon as he picks up two there quite quite successfully. Maybe a third. He manages to see the other opponent there. But um, at the moment, not getting that third pick though. We do see a maze quite low on the HP. Let's see if Mitchu can maybe take out one or two of the No Mercy members. So at the moment, Mitchu is the last one left. Gets a nice 50 50 shot. Almost the second one gets taken out there by Tzizek. And uh, the score is... 14 to 3. So another eco round should be in effect here for the Dobrian Gaming team going forward. We'll just have to wait and see now what takes place in this uh, in the following few minutes. You know, not this particular round perhaps, but the next round is going to be the also important one for Dobrian Gaming if they want to win this and nip this one in the bud as quick as possible. We're seeing a deal purchase here from Amazed. Maybe you can get those one shot headies through and. Uh, Put his team on the benefit. Quick overview look here. We're seeing Manai's back and see uh, T side spawn. A little bit of a mid side contingency. Any innocent, the only one working it through. Repo Eon doing quite well. Key Cubic with a frag, but we see two frags coming in the way of Dobrian Gaming. So now at the moment, still pretty much the CTs uh, are right there on top. They get the bomb down, and um, innocent is the last player left. Manages to get the one kill. So they managed to take three guns that round. It's a very good round in actual fact there for Dobry and Gaming. Looking at the current financial situation, it has not really affected the CT so much. However, it, it has added finance to the T side. And we're seeing a full stack of AKs, grenades, armor, the works. Let's see what Dobry and Gaming can do in this round strat. Round 19 underway here. Can the No Mercy team defend it off? We're seeing that bomb moving towards the alley side. Do we see an entry pick here from the Dobrian Gaming team? t -Sick starting it off here for No Mercy with the first pick with the AWP. Kubi coming around the corner. He gets himself a double kill with the M4A1. Oh, no, in actual fact, t -Sick getting the double kill there with the AWP. Nice play. And uh, looking at it now, Dobrian Gaming have a lot of work on their hands. t -Sick there, trip kill for him. And now Mal's 4A, the last one left. Has to try and take a gun at least here from the No Mercy team. No Mercy doing very well. Playing the patient game. Not too aggressive on the CTs. And uh, there we go. t -Sick with the quad kill. Fantastic play here from No Mercy. 14 to 5. Things are looking pretty good. Another eco round in effect here for Dobrian Gaming. They've got the rounds to play with. That is the, 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 the thing basically. Um, they will have to eco this round of course. And if they do get it right to get the entry frags 2-3 guns off. Then they can easily buy up and hopefully cause a little bit of an upset here. Finances not so great at the moment for the No Mercy team. We're seeing a couple of the guys with 1-5, one, 1-2 one, um, in the bank. Although uh, T-Sec buying up, uh, I think he may might have bought up that uh, Auto Sniper for Eon. Which is a good purchase in actual fact. We're seeing a lot of Auto Sniper play in the train map specifically and on cash. But, um, well, we've got another pause around now underway. So we'll have to wait and see what actually happens if they're going to be able to get going. It does look like they are being DDoSed in some form or way. So we'll just wait uh, for them to get themselves uh, sorted out. And then we'll, uh, we'll continue this cast further. Hopefully... Um, We'll see the end of this uh, this 
this game. It is a best of one as far as I can see. Another map uh, being decided. And uh, just to get just to get a clarification here, that's all. I might be incorrect, but it does look like it is a best of one. Well, the pings look perfectly fine. Um, one of the viewers indicating me on the stream. The pings look fine, but it could be a loss issue. So we'll have to wait and see. If they're going to start this round. We're seeing an eco round again here for the Dobrin Gaming team. A lot of C7, uh, C75, CZ75 auto is being purchased here by them. Uh, Mitchu playing with P250 instead. I do from time to time think that the P250 is a bit more effective because it's got, it holds a little bit more bullets. Um, it doesn't have the rapid fire of the CZ75 but it is more accurate in, in a sense of getting that quick double shot heady on the opponent. And um, a lot of times I see eco rounds with P250s working quite effectively. I think it was Very Games that started the P250 armor um, purchase uh, quite some time ago. And now that they've introduced the CZ75, um, the, the whole dynamics has changed a little bit. There we go. The pause is off. And we will continue now with round 20 between these two Polish sides here in the ESL Pro Series Season 8. Between Dobry Gaming and No Mercy. Seeing a full buy here from uh, No Mercy. Looking very promising for them at the moment. They need the rounds. As Dobry Gaming is only two rounds away from taking this one. And um, putting another loss to the No Mercy team. We're seeing a quick rotate here from Res B, which is not really the greatest thing. He might have seen a foot there. We do see Eon also coming in now with the uh, auto sniper. Very effective round here for Dobry and Gaming. Uh, they're not trying to get the picks at the moment. Nice play from Res B. Getting off two quick picks. Ooh, Kubik getting the best of Michu there. Amazed. Well, he managed to get the bomb down. And that is what the Dobrian Gaming team needed. Just that little bit of extra finances going through to the following round or two. Being able to buy a perhaps surprise buy and catch the uh, No Mercy team of God. Score now 14 to 6. Looking promising here at the moment for the No Mercy team. But still very much favorable at the moment for Dobry and Gaming. So now we're seeing an AWP purchase here from Anais. Very effective with that gun. He is going to be moving on to the inside here. Obviously trying to get that quick pick. Nothing really much happening on the outside at the moment. Maybe a little bit of little ladder play. Just to try and force the rotate on the outside bomb side. We're seeing Resby the only one playing on the inside. And causing a little bit of a problem here for his own team. There is no backing. In actual fact, we're seeing the breach slowly but surely. That bomb is sitting in the little ladder, little ladder area. And now the breaches would obviously cause the problem here. Oh, Eon not getting the picks with the auto sniper there. A little bit of a problem there for his, him and his team. They need to get the picks and land them straight away in order for them to stay on top of their game and on top of this match. We're seeing Mitchell now with the AK-47. He needs to be careful. He might take on T-Sec with the AWP. Deciding just to rock it back a little bit and wait for the CT to come in. Where's B doing quite nice taking out the AWPA for all of Dobry and Gaming here. Mitchell also causing a little pro bit of problems. He's getting taken out there. And, uh, Miles is the only one managing to get a kill at the moment. It is a two-on-four situation. Nice spam play there from Kubik and Tisa getting the last kill. And the score now 14 to 7. Look at No Mercy bringing this one back. Just really defending it very, very well. So another buy round into effect here, like I uh, predicted with that previous round bomb plant here. It's a full AK buy though from Dobrian Gaming. Let's see if they can work on this particular strat to get the maximum result, and that is obviously a win. If they do reach that 15 round limit, it is pretty much a psychological defeat here for the No Mercy team. A lot of flashes and nades coming into play here. Counter flashes and nades now from the No Mercy team. We're seeing some aggressive play now from Dobrian Gaming. Needs to be careful. Kubik with the first pick there on Manaz. Just defending at the moment here. Well played here from Reaper. Getting up on that train, taking the pick on Mouse. 
Jamison. Ooh, looking away, getting taken out there by Resby. And uh, the last one left. Well, there's two more left. Mitchu always coming down the alley side area. The bomb has been planted. Oh, the defuse is already underway here at the moment. There we go. Defuse it is, but it has given the Dobby and Gaming team enough money to go for another buy round. And just apply that pressure slowly but surely on the No Mercy team. No Mercy playing a fantastic CT role here at the moment. And it just looks like that uh, the CT side is so sought after on train. And uh, looking at it now, it is so difficult at the moment for No Mercy just to... Well, sorry for Dobby and Gaming. Just to try and take one round thus far. So far at the moment, 7-2-0 on the second half. And looking quite good for the No Mercy team. No Mercy now bouncing back quite effectively. Quick look at the overview. The bomb is dropped around the midside position. So this is an indication that the bomb is going to be going outside. We're seeing a lot of play on the outs, well, the inside staircase area again. So they might actually move that bomb in towards the inside, which looks to be the case. And here we go. The smoke grenade coming out. Gets the pick. Nice start here for Dobby and Gaming. Minai's doing the damage here. Still nothing yet. Do they force the rotate? They're going to try and force the rotate by the looks of it. And we do see two CT players. Kubik and Dsec moving in towards the inside side. But it looks like uh, Dobby and Gaming are going to opt for the inside push. Nice start here for No Mercy. Dsec exchanging it off. But uh, Dobry and Gaming in a very, very promising position at the moment. Taking the kill left, right and center. T-Sec is under pressure. We might see Mitchu taking him out. He's got another player to contend with though. He's going to try and go for the kill. He does get the pick on T-Sec. And well played here from Dobry and Gaming. And that's it. 15 rounds, folks. And uh, that's all they needed. Just to secure that psychological win over the No Mercy team. No Mercy, unfortunately, just not good enough being able to defend it off. And uh, very well played there from the Dobby and Gaming team, opting to rather go for the inside because they got the pick so they didn't waste too much time going on the inside, getting the bomb down, isolating it off from the CT defense, getting the round win there. So nice play. But here we are, round 24 underway here. We're seeing the bomb down on the alley side area, so we probably will see it move in towards the outside. But at the moment now... Things are still pretty much even Stevens when it comes to uh, the buy round. Although, No Mercy have got a little bit more uh, money in the bank to fall back on. Not really, but uh, enough I would say for the next round. Nice play from T-Sec here, coming right back to getting himself into a positive KPD. And uh, we see Darby and Gaming moving that bomb slowly but surely towards the inside now. They've got 55 seconds on the clock. They need to make up their mind exactly where they're going to be breaching. And at the moment, just things are quite uh, very defensive. They're waiting, obviously, for the CTs to push in and uh, hopefully get the relevant picks so that they can get in and get the shots. But here we go. Time is of the essence now for Darby and Gaming. The bomb is still waiting outside the midside position. And look at the CTs. They are not moving. Very disciplined play here from them at the moment. Looking very good. And we're finally seeing a pick there after what, a good couple of seconds. And here the very late push now from the Dobry and Gaming team on the outside site. This might not be enough time at the moment here, in my opinion. Mitchell getting the relevant kill. Bomb does go down though for Dobry and Gaming. Nice play here from them. It is a three-on-three -three situation favorable for the T-side because they've got the numbers. There we go. T-Sec out of the picture. And so Resby goes. Eon, the last one left here. Having to look exactly where he's located on the top side area. He needs to get the relevant picks. He's got two to take on. Doesn't do so. And there we go. The Dobry and Gaming team win it 16-8. to Well played. Well, that was uh, a pretty interesting right there on the second half. No Mercy coming back there a little bit more aggressive and being able to produce the results somewhat, but um, just not good enough on the end of the day, guys. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining in on my cast. The, my name is Burning Red, and you're watching me on Nav TV CS. Till next time.
I um, just wanted to confirm there might not be a second, well, there shouldn't be a second map, but you know, we never know. There might just be one. I'd really doubt it though, but guys, anyway, if you're still uh, on my channel, etc., please follow my Twitter account, my Facebook, YouTube, etc., and then uh, if you want to, give my Twitch channel a follow. Okay guys, so I got confirmation now, it is actually just in fact the best one. Guys, thank you very much for joining in on my cast this evening. Uh, I will see you guys soon. On Thursday evening I will be casting a DGL game, which is a South African Premier League match uh, between... I'll have to confirm the teams there for that one, but anyway, uh, see you guys soon. Have a good evening. Have a good day today.